Welcome everyone to our first show of the cosplay show by Game of Fiend, the title Cosplay Express Show. Here we have uh, Himanshu as our co-guest and uh, me, Saite. And for our first episode, we have our guest, Achit Jain, who is uh, one of the best cosplayers from Delhi. He's been cosplaying since 2019. And uh, my first cosplay was Negan from The Walking Dead. So... Back then, uh, I was totally not aware of. I knew about cosplaying, but uh, I didn't, knew, didn't know some rules. So, like the first one, uh, I took a lethal baseball bat with me. <laughs> and I was rejected the entrance. They told that it is lethal, it can hurt others. I told them that, why will I hurt others? <laughs> but, you know, rules are rules. So at that time I was confused that uh, I do not have my Lucille. So you guys be knowing what's Lucille, the signature bat of Negan from The Walking Dead. So I thought, mm, let's enjoy. I have purchased a ticket, so I won't go home. Just deposited my bat. But fortunately, I found two more Negans. Yeah, there were three Negans that day. And uh, one of them gave me their Lucille and I was able to perform. So that was a great day. I started from there and then I kept continuing. Um, so right now I'm cosplaying as Craven. This is my latest version. This is my 13th cosplay. And I'm trying as I love this fashion, uh, love this hobby. So this is me. Hope we don't get censored for the character Negan. <laughs> ah. I was not censored. Uh, though I, uh, the way I performed, I was smashing the head of one of my friends <laughs> on the stage. But obviously there was no work and uh, it was good. So that's the moment where I started. I'm a big fan and I would like to ask that out of all your projects, which, which one do you think is the best one that you have created so far? This one. <laughs> because uh, um, this took a lot of effort. And uh, this is my latest project. And um, I invested time in creating this. So, like, use use of EVA form and this fur and all that. <laughs> creating everything, the shape and all, giving with the use of rotary tool. So, it took time. And uh, I think this is my like the best project till date. Uh, speaking of cosplay, I want to know uh, what are the biggest or smallest problems that every cosplayer faces as per you? Okay, as per me. <laughs> See, the biggest problem, what's this? What are you doing? <laughs> like, like how are you all dressed up? People are going to see and, uh, you know, there's this small percentage of uh, geeks. You enter the world of that community, you, you're like a star, they'll appreciate you, just like you two are doing right now. But uh, just suppose any normie comes out here <laughs> and you have to explain and some of them appreciate, but most of them, oh, what is this? I really don't get it. <laughs> so, yes, facing getting that, yeah. so facing all that is the biggest challenge for a cosplayer. Not only cosplayer, in fact, every artist faces that at some point of time. So, this is like that. And uh, what's the other one? The smallest issue, you said, right? Yes, yes. Smallest one, like, I'm feeling hot right now, <laughs> wearing this. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, you know, we ignore that. Because when we are cosplaying, we fine. Like we can handle. Uh, say for example, what kind of cosplayers are you? There are some who do DIY. There are some who do armor makery. There are some who are expert in makeup. So in which category do you count yourself as a cosplayer? I count myself in the fourth category, which I say Jugaad. And uh, it's a kind of mixture of all this. I'm not into makeup. Uh, I've not 
लाइक द मैक्स आई हैव डन इन मेकअप इज अप्लाइंग सम यू नो बॉडी पाउडर ऑन हेयर एंड ऑल दैट तो मेकअप इज माय लीस्ट यू नो यू कैन से डीआईवाई यस आई सी देयर इज अ वे ऑफ सीइंग डीआईवाई लाइक द स्टैंडर्ड इज टू क्रिएट from eva form and all that which i just tried so diy is also you know thinking what the other part can be used as a uh, cosplay part like uh, when i cosplay this book god like diy specifically the other name of as i said you got so when i cosplay that stroke i was thinking that i need to uh, wear a bend oiler where uh there should be the shotgun shells and i kept thinking then i thought the starters of tube light <laughs> they're going to work so actually innovative yeah they, they so starter of tube light over here like right? yeah like so i just take out and it in yeah i pasted the starters of tube light over here i painted them gold and orange so they were giving that look so like i said this is jugad i just simply think and um, sometimes when you fail to uh, create perfectly from form jugad helps you <laughs> like uh, when i was cosplaying green arrow um, i was having trouble creating the you know eye mask and i purchased a sleeping mask <laughs> the sleep wear which you and just put some holes in it and with the hood uh, this much part was um, hidden so it worked <laughs> Do you ever manage to scare anyone when you are in cosplay? Oh yeah, yeah, I have uh, yeah. because I cosplayed as Jason as well um, during a Halloween event, and uh, you know Halloween event, the kids are gonna <laughs> get extremely scared looking at you. So I did that, and I enjoyed that, and I also felt bad at times when they were. there were screams from kids and they were just hugging their parents out of that uh, that they are scared so that was a mixed feeling sometimes i enjoyed and sometimes i felt bad archit i want to know if you are a full time cosplayer or are you a part time cosplayer or are, do you do it as a hobby or passion i think you do it as a hobby or passion that's what i can see but i want to yeah. know from you itself no i do it as a hobby or passion um actually i have never been able to associate also i am not that keen to interest this uh, to like to add this with money so till now i am just cosplaying for fun and uh, i don't know i get a bad feeling when i try to commercialize it <laughs> so like i am i am just a working professional right now in an mnc so you have to keep your <laughs> like normies happy as well <laughs> and i sometimes think that it's a safe option so i always think of it as an additional like a hobby or task if money comes out of it uh, that's additional but you know i just think that to be safe let's do some regular job instead so you can say i'm scared <laughs> of commercializing it because this is an art form that's why yes like, and as i said free. yeah and as free. i said there are a lot of difficulties in the paths of artists right imagine if you are like uh, why imagine you have you must have won any competition in your cosplay right in yeah. comic con yeah so that's a great feeling like you are spending money on your cosplay and we are winning for it which cosplay was it so uh, i have been uh, i have won uh, four times in the comic category in okay. delhi comic uh, yeah <laughs> and uh, you know i felt proud and people also uh, felt great but as i said some some said ye kya good days hai mil gaye tere ko jeetne par they are jealous people <laughs> yeah yeah so uh, it's kind of mixed and uh, 
right now at this stage i i can also say that uh, i am on a mixed feeling like i am not uh, on that urge of youth where i can say no i'll oh, first place my passion i'm going to run from it and i i'll dedicate myself 100% and all that that's why i appreciate that feeling that fire in you but uh, you know right now <laughs> i'm in a mixed mood like more focused on survival that uh, yeah surviving the life <laughs> yeah yeah of the survival of the life that uh, uh, enjoy and then earn and then come back to enjoying <laughs> so uh, among the cosplay that helped you win the comic con which is your favorite one so the four times where, when i won was red hood scorpion um green arrow and yeah hawkeye so yeah, both. my favorite one was scorpion scorpion from mortal kombat and why i, I even i can vote for that okay thank you why i liked it because uh, that was the first time i tried uh, you know um changing my voice accordingly so on the stage when i said get over here <laughs> it worked and uh, i was having that uh, plastic yeah. chain here in my gauntlet and i threw it and it worked perfectly i got a lot of cheers from people at that moment and that i cannot forget <laughs> wish i could enjoy such moments because this year we have comic con after 2 years yes, since fine. yes exactly after finding 2 years of wait we have yeah. comic and we are really excited <laughs> So any plan for Comic Con? <laughs> yeah. Or maybe it's a top secret. <laughs> Not secret. I, um, you know, I've I never hide. Like I just simply say I'm gonna cosplay this or that because I have changed my plans. <laughs> so uh, at at the end moments as well, and uh, I made a huge list of around twenty characters. Oh, okay. which I want to do. I'm not going to reveal every one of them <laughs> because. <laughs> i may switch to some other but yes uh, one of the thing which i uh, focus on i try to cosplay you know characters which are popular and not cosplayed much or never have been cosplayed but they are popular <laughs> like popular. Yeah. see for like. geeks uh, every character is popular right and uh, in comic con you see people like you only and if you even if you are not cosplaying someone will say are you cosplaying as that character <laughs> 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 this there is happening to me yeah there, there you have that advantage so um, you can uh, see there are other uh, you know uh, cosplay conventions as well but the audience which we get in comic con especially you can simply uh, uh, reveal any of the character because someone is going to recognize that's the great part so uh, if you are afraid that if i cosplay some character and it's not that popular you can put that character out in delhi comic con or like indian comic con any anywhere so i'm you know it's kind of hint I'm thinking about cosplaying Shredder from TMNT. <laughs> I have cosplayed Casey oh, Jones from no. TMNT as well. Now I'm thinking. Now take this as a you know what do we say as a grain of salt. <laughs> But yeah. I may you know I'm thinking about cosplaying Shredder. It's looking forward to it at Comic Con. Yeah, okay, so, <laughs> definitely. Okay, so it's okay, so it's. uh someone was asking me that if you are not doing cosplay and when you are not busy what do you do so how do you do your time pass apart from doing cosplay as well uh gaming <laughs> it's so my mm-hmm. so you're a big game boy big yeah i can i'm not saying professional i have tried professional gaming though but uh, you know the competition is not that easy but uh, yeah so gaming is like my deep hobby you can say i i game a lot i can even show you the 
statistics of my 2000 you know i am a ps gamer like i prefer sony sony playstation and uh, they gave a report like it was an annual report of uh, your activity time so in 2021 my average gaming per day came out to be no in 2020 or 21 i am not sure it came out to be 6 hours <laughs> per day but during and, the lockdown where we are at home everyone is at home yeah, yeah i think it was a lockdown and this was a and you know i am a working professional as well like i am a full time professional who works for 8 9 10 hours and then i am getting 6 hours average so like, you can like monitor one screen work will be there one screen gaming will be there like <laughs> <laughs> it's like that only and uh, out of the 365 days maybe 50, 10 or 15 days were there when i didn't play <laughs> So, <laughs> games, gaming uh, is my yeah gaming is like uh, I've, i've been gaming since i was 5 or 6 at that time uh, we had a nintendo entertainment system that was popular in india it was third generation gaming uh, we didn't know about that we used to call it media games <laughs> and uh, i played a lot of games on that then in class seventh uh, we got the pc so at that time i was a pc gamer and uh, you know there was one game which excited me to you can say i went on a strike at my home that i'm not going to eat please because at that time i was a student and graphics card was a requirement the game was bully from rockstar for that okay. i went on a strike and uh, then i got the graphics card my parents said all right let's living the actual bully life <laughs> yeah then i played it and from uh, 2010 or 11 to 14 i tried dragging my pc <laughs> uh, i wanted to play like even i used to tweak i in dot i in i settings file where i used to force the screen resolution to 614 to 480 to get the better frame rates there were times uh, you know i played assassin's creed 3 uh, moving my camera towards the ground <laughs> because if i move it to upwards i'll get the frame drops so there i played there's a hack in the game hack, if you yeah. switch to evil vision the frame rate increases yeah because the <laughs> Later come less things. <laughs> yeah. So this, yeah, this was the way I was gaming. Then in 2014, when I got my first job in 16, sorry, in 16, yeah. Um, I said that I'm go. How I'm gonna work for eight or nine hours, and how I'm gonna satisfy myself then? So I simply purchased a PlayStation 4, and till. and from like since 2016 till that i have been a ps user uh, i shifted from pc gaming to ps gaming and why i like ps more you know it's personal taste but i like the exclusives of sony more i'm more into single player uh, sandbox heavily story driven games so i found more of them on uh, you can say you know, sony so gaming is my you can say biggest hobby so okay so living gaming for a little bit by to the side i want to know that who do you see as your idol when it comes to cosplay i mean you must be following some international as well as national cosplayers so who do you think for you is an idol cosplayer i can't i can't name anyone like it shifts from time to time if i see someone uh, like if i uh, like the character of some guy i say wow like uh, right now i'm looking at salish and say wow what a splinter self so for yeah <laughs> so like right now salish is my idol and then i shift my eyes towards patchy and you're trying to do clark and superman so it's you know uh, i cannot uh, um say actually who is my idol 
but yes i can name uh, a few cosplayers who who are like you know pro like internationally there's mall cosplay i think that's the name right he's i don't know his nationality he he seems dutch or scandinavian kind of but his cosplays yeah, are really he does, he does dutch the cyberpunk and witcher cosplays anything cdp are releases yeah uh, i love his cosplays and uh, in india there are many like uh, yusuf khan and uh, um the many uh, medha and, uh, i can name a lot like the list goes on and on it it goes on and on yeah so there are many idols like i can't simply answer this question because as i said my uh, i cannot say someone is my personal favorite if i see any like it's like anyone who has worked hard for that character for that moment he is my idol and a lot of people have shown this uh, you know this skill so it changes from time to time and there are many like see right now i am not taking many names in case i forget some name and then other name and the other name so it's simply in fact uh, uh, i'm just saying i love everyone in the cosplay community and everyone has the extreme skill and uh, capability to reach heights so who is my ideal is that fire that hidden person in every cosplayer that zeal that is my idol that is my actual idol so that the person who feel that fire and achieve wonders can be anyone there's no name so that true cosplayer is my idol that's the perfect answer i think i've given now deep thought to yeah. the deep okay i want to ask a lot but there is someone who was asking me that how should i start my journey as a cosplayer or how should i start my career as a cosplayer i know career sounds a little bit professional but i think journey will be the right word so if anyone comes to you and ask that how can i start my journey as a cosplayer so what advice will you give to that person yeah two words be besharam <laughs> that's the thing see when you are going to it it happens see right now you, this since this is the first time you are dressing up you are uh, creating you, there will be eyes seeing you what's he doing now you don't know all that right because uh, there are not many geeks as i said now okay just follow that just okay it's fine once you put step in any cosplay convention you will be loved i have seen this this community is friendly this community is appreciating and uh, uh, you you will give gain a lot of confidence once you step in so all you have to do is just to make your uh, like uh, create your character um, and uh, wear it first of all you will get some confidence wearing it even if you don't get it simply walk in any convention people gonna cheer you up your confidence will reach heights and uh, uh, i remember when i was uh, cosplaying as negan for the first time um i was having some you know my legs were shivering but uh, the moment i you know this is i'm saying i think many of you didn't notice that but uh, if you uh, see that performance of mine you are not going to notice that but uh, you will eventually gain confidence even i have recommended people who are not cosplayers or not geeks who say that i think i have some problem of uh, you know uh, public fear and all that i have told them to try cosplay <laughs> because <laughs> yeah this hobby is gonna um, overcome that i'm this is my personal experience i have been cosplaying from 2016 it's been 6 years and uh, it helped me so this is a good activity for uh, 
you know self motivation and uh, gaining confidence overcoming public fear so simply uh, that was th- this is my advice don't hear anything don't, don't be criticized too much and don't take it to your heart what you receive uh, the uh, what you hear from the normies and uh, focus on the compliments from your geek brothers and sisters your fellow geeks you're going to love it okay so one more thing i want to ask before i hand it over to selesh that is that when it comes to cosplay how do you start i mean i have heard people saying that cosplay is an expensive hobby so how do you start preparing for any cosplay see cosplay is expensive hobby not i'm not saying it in just in monetary sense uh, it takes time it takes money it takes energy so you know it's up to people like uh, we, everyone is different right so like um i'm more focused into jugaad as i said so there are ways of thinking many tried from many try from scratch like this is the eva form sheet i'm going to draw i'm going to cut i'm going to um you know use the rotary tool and then that's the you know uh standard practice of cosplay now there's jugaad you purchase things you modify them that's also cosplay you can use you can uh, as as you said makeup many are good in doing makeups that is also cosplay so everyone has strengths and weaknesses so you have to identify them and uh, just focus there and you can uh, uh, there's no start actually you have that capability you just need to identify where i'm good at and uh, utilize that strength see actually i am more of a person who plays on the strengths like there are people who says uh, improve your weaknesses i support that but i say that like the, this is a personal taste so i play more on strengths so as i said jugaad is my biggest strength uh, i focus more on that and uh, rest uh, you this is my like advice as you said that how should you start just think where i'm good at think characters accordingly like if you are good at makeup you can think of characters like uh, uh, what the race was called in avatar navi navi right navi so one can think of becoming a navi hellboy you are good at makeup you can utilize that right you are good at um, creating like armor making and all that go there you are good at fabric make some fabric based like assassin's creed cosplay something like that so it's up to you just to identify your strength and work on i wanted to ask uh, do you have any advice for uh, like uh, the cosplayers who are currently under stress like is they cannot make something or anything like cos- those who have started cosplay for like one or two years and currently mm-hmm. they look at the big armors and big fabric based cosplay and they feel overwhelmed so do you have any advice for people like them like i know certain people are like that that's why i'm asking <laughs> for this you know i think uh, since you all are cosplayers and or aspiring cosplayers even i call myself an aspiring cosplayer um you must be feeling comfy she's a legend right <laughs> Uh, if you are not cosplaying i suggest you to uh, if you are not following i suggest you to follow her a day before or yesterday she posted uh, she posted that she started cosplaying in maybe 2002 3 or 4 when it was not there in india <laughs> so she was you see that cosplay and you see her cosplay now so it's been a long journey yeah it's been a long journey over a decade right she want so all you need is that you will 
I believe that every cosplayer will become pro one day. This is my thought. This may be a fantasy, but this is my positive thought in my mind. And I saw a post by mall cosplay as well. The same thing. So every pro was once a beginner. And uh, see, you need to. You should have two things in your mind. One, you need to learn. You need to learn from these people. You can find videos. See, if you have that, uh, you know, zeal in you, you you are gonna learn eventually. So one thing you need to learn. The second thing, as I am saying again and again, you have some strength in you, that speciality in you, some spark since birth in you. Do not lose that. So it's a mixture. You learn, and you do not forget your speciality. When you combine them, something great is gonna come up. So this is my mantra. Um, you will or the main thing have patience as i said you started feeling overwhelmed that oh my god these are professionals yes these are professionals they i respect them and uh, they are professionals because of their hard work but i think one professional will also feel bad if a beginner is feeling that uh, oh my god i cannot do it i think they will say themselves that you can do it we were once beginners as well just like kamui and mol said so that's the thing you all all of i mean simply you need that positivity and one day you're going to rock everyone has their own pace it's not like uh, uh, he became a pro in 2 years and he became a pro in 20 years it's fine like I, we don't know uh, what are the situations of both of these guys we cannot compare that's this is my thinking so relax and enjoy and uh, you are going to rock i'm just saying it again and again uh, you since you started cosplaying you are special how many cosplayers are there in india i do not think we have touched even 1000 mark yet am i correct i do not think so so being a cosplayer you if you have taken this step that makes you special you have you um you overcame that fear and now keep doing it it's gonna be fine all of you are perfect that's it this is this is as for me really moving really motivating like my spirits went higher <laughs> yeah yeah it's good i'm gonna motivate you to reach you the skies yeah <laughs> thank you okay so apart from that i was thinking that uh, in cosplay say for example what do you think will be the future in this field i mean say for example that now we talk about kamui cosplay we talk about sk props but there was a time when uh, even the market in on, in those countries say germany and europe was not that good so what do you think about india when it comes to cosplay india is at a very beginning stage because cosplay in india if i'm correct started from 2012 12 or 13 and i uh, joined it in 2016 see uh, i knew about comic conventions since maybe 2009 or 10 like when i was in uh, 11th or 12th class or in college i knew about uh, comic conventions because uh, i used to see on youtube that wow uh, it have it came from san diego you must be knowing that right and slowly slowly it started uh, reaching to every country that's the thing uh, if we started from 2012 i have seen um, increasing audience increasing fans increasing cosplayers we will have our day <laughs> like okay well, many countries have reached heights in this obviously usa because they are the uh, san diego is the starting place and if you you know it's my dream to attend one of the Uh, San Diego cost because there are you can like there are reveals of, yeah there are reveals of upcoming AAA games uh, movies celebrities top rated celebrities are visiting there that's uh, comic con that's uh, cosplay conventions there are many so it's growing in India will grow um, the pace is I think the pace is fine I have 
my self seen a good rise since 2019 and uh, you know this lockdown period also helped this because many of the normies when they got bored they mm-hmm. went into the web series they went to do the gaming like uh, you know <laughs> there's a funny thing one of my friend used to say i am a gamer right he is also one of my friend is there he is gamer he said that people used to criticize us when we were playing previously now when pubg is free <laughs> everyone is gaming now it's not nothing to be ashamed of everyone is playing it and back then we used to feel that he that oh my god he is gaming he is a kid <laughs> just like that in web series uh like uh, i am watching web series since 2012 or 13 now people came into this later like in 2018 19 20 2020 when there was a the lock so yeah so i think this helped this gave a sharp rise to this this community as well and the overall geek community as well so it's rising it will rise uh, now we are on a better pace than previously so we are doing fine maybe it's 2022 right i think by 27 or 28 it will be because uh, we see advertisements and all that of cosplay conventions now on social media on radios everywhere uh, till that time we are uh, getting celebrities as well here so till that time it will be much better uh, it will be like pop- it is popular today as well uh, you know with years you will gain more popularity especially for the geek community let yeah. us so your words stay true as per your predictions stay true <laughs> yeah 2030 2077 what is happening in 2077 <laughs> yeah can say that okay Cosplay yeah cyber cosplays at that time just imagine <laughs> 3d projection and holographic cosplay yeah holographic cosplays we might be attacking each other and not hurting each other we are we are yeah we are cosplaying just imagine which it is magical for me today as well like these whenever i go to a cosplay convention i feel this is the best day. i i think of myself becoming doctor strange and keeping this day on loop i do not want to end this day so <laughs> meeting everyone this is you know somewhat similar to let me share one ex- one more example there was a time when pokemon go became popular in india in connaught place there was an event it was free for people to go there and like yeah enjoy so we were two friends we went there and till the you know metro station the road and every, we felt that we are not finding anyone it's uh, you know maybe in india there's not that craze and all that but once we entered central park it was a different scenario i really felt that i entered the pokemon world everyone was shouting i got pikachu i got rhino i got this and that there is a gym I said wow this is what i wanted to feel just like this enter any cosplay convention you feel according you feel simply like this um people will be coming to you that's the thing you feel like a celebrity as well that day can i have a photo can i have a photo and you feel so special that wow people are see it's it's a you know wholesome experience for the person who is cosplaying and for the person who are uh, taking snap with that person why because see uh, being a hero or villain i am a villain right now <laughs> it's a uh, uh, you know it was a dream like seeing um, imagining ourselves and now we have visualized it it's real i'm craven right now <laughs> so it feels special it's like an achievement and just like this there might be people who said wow i'm gonna get photographed with craven no one is gonna ask your name <laughs> they they may ask your name but 
the main thinking in their mind is oh my god there's spider man let's get a, a photo with him wow iron man let's get a photo with him batman wow so they are feeling it what they saw on the screen they are feeling it now so i think i've lost the question as <laughs> what was the original question when i asked the childhood heroes come alive in cosplay yeah. that is yeah. the main in- See, I'm lost in that world. I'm just, I am <laughs> mentioning that a lot of time that I, right now, I got lost. So, uh, with this, we'd like to conclude our, the first episode of our show, Cosplay Express Show, powered by Gamer Feed. So, thanks, Archie. Thanks for coming to the show. Thanks, Himanshu, for the support. And thanks to myself. <laughs> yeah, obviously. Oh. So, for now, I think you should start. Like, I want to thank me for all my hard work. I want to thank me. <laughs> Thanks, you, yeah, yeah. <laughs> thanks my so, thank you my led lights i i also want to thank thank you both thank both of you this is really great this is a, a great experience for me for you for people we are spreading um, awareness about cosplay community we are spreading positivity i believe um, what i said i think i was, it that was positive and uh, it's it's good it feels good like uh, coming on these kind of talk shows and uh, i liked it i want to i will continue watch, watching all your episodes in future as well and uh, these are a great learning for us as i said one time learning so you can come uh, again for interview if you want oh okay. well, if, if you will invite me i'll definitely come again <laughs> with this we mark the end of our show uh, thank you so much archit thank you so much sailish thank you so much yudi and we will see you in the next video thank you all of you it was great really <laughs>